And I, I've purchased this knife a couple of years ago. I just, I love this thing. <laughs> And I know it's weird to be so excited about a knife, but it's beautiful. This little thing right here, but before I open that, let me show you two other features, which I initially missed when I first bought this, and I just think it's cool, so I wanna make sure you don't miss it. This is to cut your seatbelt in the event that you, you know, were in a car accident and went off the road, whatever the situation, so that you can cut yourself free. And this is a glass punch. So you will go like this, and like this is the glass. Psh, okay, to shatter the glass so that you can get out. Um, and then it has this really cool little belt hook, which I have used so many times. Like when I'm hiking, this is on my wrist. I clip this to my yoga pants. This is the spring assist right here, so watch. Make sure your fingers are out of the way. I always make sure that my fingers are touching this little belt clip, so that way I don't lose my fingers. And you just go like this. And, there, and it swings open really nice. And I've had knives like this in the past and they jam when they're opening. This one does not. So this one is by Tac Force. It has almost this rainbowy sort of, which is why I bought it, okay? Because I use this to open packages in my haul videos. And I know I could use a box cutter, but I just prefer this because it's so pretty and I can sharpen it. It's much more dull than it would normally be because that's what I use it for. So it's constantly running through like, you know, shipping tape. Blade, when it's open, it inches. And guys, this is not something you would want to be on the business end of, okay? This is not a butter knife. This is not a toy. This is something that when my daughter and son move out of my house, they will definitely have one of these. And probably long before that for utility purposes and protection purposes. Now, with respect to closing it, there are these little teeth right here, okay? Always, I make sure that I am holding this because if this thing were to come slamming down on your finger, you may be able to get a discount on a manicure with only nine fingers, all right? You can see right in there, when you pull this back, the knife has the ability to start to collapse, okay? but it doesn't swing shut. So you just pull that back and then once it touches my thumb, then I move my fingers and I make sure that my fingers are below this, all right? And you just shut it. Boom, problem solved, this. I mean, this thing is just, I mean, it looks mean. Again, wouldn't wanna be on the business end of it, but this thing is fantastic. Like, this is not a cheap knife. I expect to have this for the next, you know, 20 some odd years. And I have gifted this to people who have received it, who are hunters, all of them. They all loved it. It comes in multiple colors. I don't know what else to say about it. This is a, look, I'll drop it so you can hear how heavy it is. It's heavy. This thing is substantial. This is not like a gimmicky toy knife. Well, I hope you found that helpful. If you were considering this knife, I can give it, you know, I can give it two thumbs up because I still have both of mine because <laughs> it has this wonderful safety latch. Found that helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.